for us to, not to remember the men, but also the women, because there was many uh, a wife left here on our shores and on the shores of Australia as uh, husbands and sons and uh, relatives went to fight for our freedom. And when we have political freedom, we also have religious freedom. So we have a lot to thank those men for and women and also our Lord that we can worship him and praise him today. Is our brother Tay Tay still here this morning? Yeah, it took two, two minutes. Our brother Tay Tay, he was a, a soldier in one of the wars and I'll let him uh, just explain that uh, too. So uh, we'll just have to wait for him to come through. But it's 60 years ago that these men left our shores to fight for us. And, um, you know, it's something to be really, really, really thankful for. And this brother Tay Tay, uh, David, is, uh, is a wonderful member of our, of our church. And if I could just ask David to come forward now. David, yep. And as you can see too, 60 years is, um, puts a toll on, on a person's life. And uh, he's a, a, a very, not only is he, was he a soldier back then, but he's also a wonderful soldier for Jesus Christ. Amen. So it's good to have you with us this morning. David, could you just tell us uh, in what war you fought in? I went to Korea. 1952, I think it was. No, uh, 1949 when I left Wellington Wharf, 1949. 30th of December, 1949, when we went to Korea. And and what, uh, were you in a battalion? What battalion were you in? Oh, uh, well, actually, uh, it was uh, K-Force. We were K-Force. And uh, my, my job was... Uh, we had an artillery battery there, three gun positions, 161, 162, and 163. And my job was to run the telephone system between the headquarters, the lookout post, and all the, all the guns. And uh, when we first got there, uh, I had to, uh, me and my, uh, I had three men working under me. They gave me the, uh, one strike for a startled lance corporal and then they advanced me to a sergeant and ended up as a sergeant major. But it wasn't a, an easy life. We, uh, they shelled us, they kept, it wasn't hand-to-hand -hand battle, they kept shelling us as we moved forward uh, to try and con to, uh, bring back the, uh, the land for the South Koreans. But uh, it wasn't a good, good uh, or easy trip we had there. It was my job while running the, the wiring, the te uh, telephone lines. The first time I was wounded, it, uh, 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 they shelled, and I uh, I heard it coming over, and I dived into a hole. But it struck me on the leg, and I caught me on the side of the leg while we were there and then on the way home when we, we had to run away because the, the, the Americans who were in the in advance they were their uh, front line troops and they they got scared of the North Koreans when they started coming towards them and they ran away and we got left behind and uh, I was one of the ones that was left behind and as we uh, got close to the airport they, they started shelling us, and uh, a shell fell not far from me and wounded my leg, wounded, and I got a uh, scar in my leg. So I, I laid there for quite a while till someone picked me up and took me to the, uh, to the jeep and uh, took me back to the headquarters. And when we got to Pusan there, they, they put me on a boat they're going to Tokyo and uh, and there they treated me I was there in Tokyo for treatment on my leg for about three months 
while I was there, then they brought me back to uh, to the Philippines, and I, I, I uh, was there for about eight to ten weeks in there, getting treatment. Amen. And, and David's done a, a good job throughout the years of flying the flag for his Lord and Saviour, and for this we're truly thankful. And uh, he's, he's certainly been a, a, a pillar of admi admiration for me anyway. God bless you, David, and thank you for that. Could we all please stand and we'll sing together um, God Defend New Zealand, our national anthem. Thank you.